Hmm, get a tragic here and welcome to Tabletop Simulator. This is my newest mod, or not really my newest mod, I'll talk about that at the end, but this is Yamati. Now, Yamati is a fantastic game. Uh, absolutely love this game. Now, I'm in hot seat mode as three different players because this script requires all players have to be seated before hitting setup, okay? Because it uses the seated players to determine the variables for how to set up the game. So you have to make sure everyone's joined and sat down before you hit the setup button. So I've got this set up for a three player game because I've got three people sitting at the table. In addition, just like in the physical game, the white player is always only used when you have four players. The purple player is only used when you have three players. So because I'm playing a three player game, I'm using the orange, the teal, and the purple. And that's pretty much it. And there's this little card to remind you of all that. After you're done, just hit set up, your blamo, and it sets the game up for you and you are ready to play. Now, there's not a huge amount of automation in this mod, but there is quite a lot of quality of life things. For example, I have these neat little counting bowls. The, you've probably seen these if you've seen any of my other mods, they just count things. So this will count all your money. Anytime you get coins, just chuck them in there. And you've got a little bin here that will just destroy coins. Uh, and you've got infinite bags up here with all the other coins you might need. That's just so you don't have to count your cash. Okay, uh, what else? Also, I have this other counting bowl, the purple one in this case, and this counts VP. So as you build your you know, buildings or whatever, you can just dump them in here and it'll you know, count the uh, count the VPs that they're worth okay and that will also of course works for the prestige points as well so if you chuck in the fans it counts how many VPs you are it's a good way to keep track now you also have VPs on these guys now these things are like powers so don't chuck them in while you're playing because you'll probably want them on the table so you can remember what powers you've got but at the end of the game, when you're calculating all your VPs and trying to work out who's won, just pick these up and also chuck them in the box. And uh, that's how the counters work. In addition, uh, once you take your take your little, you know, your action tiles, as you know, if you know how to play the game, the number based on the tile is your turn order for the next round. So what you can do is you can actually just take your meeple and place it straight away while the other people are doing their turns. Uh, you know, and that that's just to speed things up, but it'll basically, you know, it's got a little X. It just means that you've done your turn. Just a little visual representation of who's gone first. And once you've finished, all you need to do is hit the end round button. The end round button will uh, pack up all the tiles, slide them, redraw them, flip over if needed any of your meeples. It'll redraw any uh, specialists required. Any specialists that aren't used will get the coins placed on them. And it will also redraw any uh, building tiles that are required. And that is pretty much it. Uh, there's also counting bowls over here that have all the ships. So as you know, if you know how to play the game, once the, once you run out of tile, run out of ships in any of these bowls, it's sort of game over. There's a uh, little, you know, snap points on all these little things so you can place them as you want. And it also will rotate them if it all gets screwed up. And down on here with the player board that has all the information, there's also a few snap points, just, you know, like if you want to snap your uh, ship that you're holding in your dock and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you look up here, you've got little game ending and scoring system. You've also got all the, 
all the uh, you know specialists. If you hold down Alt, you it'll pop up their power, and you can just see what their power is. Just an easy reference for that. And I've also done the same thing with the appendix. If you want to know what the different tile powers do, you can just hold down Alt and mouse over them, and they'll pop up. Uh, that is pretty much it. Oh yeah, there's also, if you hit the show rules, you'll get all the rules out at once. And if there's any particular page you want, you can just, you know, tab to it on here just to, you know, keep a, keep it on the table at all times. And that's pretty much it. Okay. So that is the mod. Uh, and yeah, so now that I've gone through it, I'll just tell you why. Well, basically what happened is uh, I had a big error with Google Drive and I lost almost all my images. So all my mods got broken. It was so depressing. I basically stopped modding for over a year. Uh, but I've decided I'm going to go fix all my original mods. I don't know how many new mods I'm going to make, but I'm going to definitely fix all my original mods and finish all the big mods that were half finished. Like uh, Andor and... Uh, you know, Galaxy Defenders and stuff, and Lord of the Rings. But what happened is I noticed that I had this uploaded years ago and I just never set it to visible. So that's why no one ever saw it. Uh, so yeah, this is coming out of the hidden zone, so to speak. And I'll see you guys next time.